tp1 heat tell your friends to tell their friends to come up here you know the drill bro you know the drill you're 113 let's get to 150 let's get to 150 um yeah so today i want to talk about uh quite a few things that grow a trader that trades nest 100 personally um i know a lot of people are trading nest and they look at small time frames they look at very 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 small time frames but this is my advice to you small time frames don't work on nest 100 they never work they never work higher time frames work on nest 100 h4 daily h1 i you said 100 boy you know i said nest 100 will go to 11,250. What's with greed? He said 100. King of Nas 100, you know. We are going to 11,690. Very possible, bro. We're going to new highs. So the next high that we are hitting right now is 11,599. That is the next high we are hitting on Nas 100. Um, what is Rapstar saying? Yeah, H4 is the way, Langa. H4 is the way, boy. Let's get to 150 viewers. We only have 126. Uh, there's 24 people left. 24 is nothing, guys. Prince Nestec, shout out. Stop ISA, shout out. Neon, shout out. Do you know Poch of Stroom? Yes. Um, shout out, shout out. We are on 132. We are on 132. We are on 131. 130. Let's get 20 more people to come to the view, to the viewers, so that we, we split gems on Nas 100. Nas 100. So today was a lovely day. We ate on Nasdaq. We ate. We really ate, guys. We really ate. We really ate. We really ate on Nas 100. So yeah, um, I shared an analysis just two days ago on Dr. Martin's live that Nas 100 has to go tap that 11,250 region before we rise. And also yesterday I had a one-on-one -on -one session. We're on 141 viewers. Come on, guys. Come on. We can make it. We can do this can make this happen we can hit tp2 which is 150 after tp2 we are coming for 400 viewers because we are growing slowly but surely growing slowly but surely growing yeah yesterday i had an analysis with my one-on-one -on -one student in pumalanga and we were discussing that rise on nas we discussed that by on nas 100 but i told him that nas has to go tap that um we are on 150 guys we're on 147 we're on 150. After 150, we are hitting TP3. TP2 hit. 150 viewers. TP2 hit. We are going to TP3. 200 viewers. 200 viewers. 200 viewers. I salute you, stylish winner stick. Thank you so much, sanctified Roko. Um, how do you control your emotions uh, when things don't go your way? We'll, we'll touch on that just a bit. Thank you so much, Nelson. Stop. Uh, STP or ECN. ECN is the best. Teboko uh, Ivan, shout out. Uh, where in where are you in Port? I don't know. Do you trade Nas? I don't know. ECN, yes. 150 viewers. TP2 hit. I'm from Argentina, please. That's really nice, bro. TP2 hit. TP2 hit. We're going for TP3. We're going to 200 viewers, guys. 200 viewers. Owen, you know, you know, you know. The man himself. The, the stylish kids himself. We are on 150 viewers in like less than 10 minutes. This is growth, guys. This is growth. 154 viewers in less than 10 minutes. This is growth. Can I show you my analysis? Um, today, I don't want to talk about analyzing. Uh, I want to talk about growing an account. Veracity have 100%. So let's talk about growing an account. We have 150, 150 viewers. We are coming to 150,000 viewers. We are on our way there because we are growing. We want to change the Forex community. We want to inform people more about this forex thing we want to let them understand what they're getting themselves into and shout out to everyone that's on the live we really appreciate you we really love you all the way from rich Genesis world club you know we are about to take over guys we're about to take over guys we are about to take over we are about to take over guys we are about to take over we are about to take over i don't want to lie to you yeah so I analyzed Nestec hit 10, uh, 11,250 and bought and broke that 11,500 digit. We are going to 11,599, which is 11,600 if you round it off. 
but obviously um, I'm expecting that tap on 11,599 which will come this coming week Nestec might give us um, a young pullback you know uh, thank you so much um, it's Thibaut uh, Sandile thank you so much my brother thank you so much to everyone that's giving shout outs on the comment section I really appreciate you and I see all of you guys but obviously I can't really um, uh, answer to everyone because I'm talking and reading at the same time but your boy got you guys I'm here I love each and every one of you I appreciate each and every one of you that's on the game and I salute each and every one of you that is here I promise you guys you guys are making a change in our lives as we are doing this lives uh, these lives each and every evening we are trying to keep up and without you guys it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been possible i see dr martin is in the house shout out brother what did it happen brother what did it happen what did it happen i see Sierra is in the house i'm telling is in the house illusion is in the house vishaili and gino gift everyone that's on the left at least was Thibaut. Mosaic, shout out to everyone, shout out to everyone. Can you save the live? I want to rewatch it, please. Yes, I will definitely save this live. So this is how you trade next 100. Next 100 is very easy. Next 100, I <laughs> see ya boy. Well, <laughs> thank you, Sierra. Dr. Martin is in the building, yes. So this is how you trade next 100. Next 100 is a very, 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 very simple element. I don't know I lie to you. Langa, we are all here. Thank you so much, my brother. I really appreciate the love. And thank you so much for the unity. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much, each and everyone that is on the live. I don't want to lie to you guys. You guys are making a change in this uh, Forex environment because you are willing to learn. I mean, there wouldn't be anyone to teach if there was no one that's willing to learn. I mean, we are here to inspire. We are here to change lives. You are here to inspire a child, to show them that it's possible, to show them that Forex is there. Forex is the future. I don't want to lie to you guys. Forex is the future. So this is what's what. 160 viewers, TP number 2.5 hit. We are going to TP3. 200 viewers. We are coming, we are coming, we are coming. Everyone is present. Yeah, so a lot of people don't really have the money to trade in S100. I don't want to lie to you. So people can trade in S100 accounts from as little as 300 rands, 400 rands. I've seen some guy doing it. Um, his name is at Ravi underscore SA on Instagram. And he does it really well. Tipi number 2.6 hit. We're on 170 viewers. He's, he's, he does it very nicely. He does it very well. I don't want to lie to you guys. I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to lie to you. He grows very small accounts on Nest 100. So he takes like a 400, uh, 400 trends account to obviously unimaginable um, amounts. I mean, with today's move, a 0 0.01 paid over 3.6, over 3.7 from where um, the low was created to where the high is right now. The a 0 0.01 is probably holding about 4,000 rand, which is over 300 points, which is over 310, 320 points. So this is how you trade a Nasdaq account. Obviously, a lot of people cannot afford to 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 to, to fund nice figures for net for nest 100 you know so obviously they go for a thousand rand account a thousand five hundred account so this is the payout on nest 100 per 0 0.01 when it moves 30 points that gives you about 600 trends so if a 0 01 moves um from let's say 1960 to 19 um let's not okay 1960 to 1990 that's like 30 points so per 0 01 um is obviously holding 300 trends on the dot if it's holding um 30 points so this is what you do guys if you are trading an account that's below 1.5 you don't want to over leverage your account not unless you have the best entry so if you have an entry which is around your support you wait for your confirmation and you wait for everything um, obviously the market will start buying from that point. So when it does 600 points, you're holding obviously what? You're holding one point, uh, $600, 600 rands profits from the 1,000 rand deposit. So your equity is now on 1,600 uh, 1, rands. So that's an account fit for trading Nasdaq on two positions. So once it gets to that point, you just wait now for a re-entry point. So when the market breaks and retests the zone, obviously you add in two zero ones. So if they move, obviously the other one keeps on paying. So that's how you grow an account. You can easily take a thousand rand, a thousand rand account to ten thousand rand in a 
a day on Nasa 100. Obviously, looking at the bigger picture, TP number 2.9 hits. We are at 196 views and we are going to 2, 200 views, which is our TP2, TP3, sorry. Yeah, but obviously, you can easily grow an account from 1,000 to 10,000 with today's move. So Nasdaq moves a lot. That thing can give you like 3,000 peeps a day, which is like 300 points, just like what happened today. You see, I was very happy when Nasdaq started buying today. This means that we are creating new highs. The stocks are coming back to their normal states. This, the stocks are gaining momentum. 200 views, TP number three hit. Go tell your friends to tell their friends to come on the live and come join us. Come join us, come join us, come join us. We are live, we are live, we are live. In less than 15 minutes, we have hit a 200 view um, position. We are on 200 views in less than 15 minutes. That is really amazing. This is growth, magnificent growth. Guys. Yeah, so this is what I was saying. With today's move, you can easily grow an account from a thousand rand to like um, 10,000. Because I saw um, people are, are holding about 4,000 per zero one. They're holding about four point something per zero point zero one so imagine if you had like two positions obviously that's like nine thousand rand that's like eight thousand rand from a zero one deposit and the equity is on like nine thousand something and then obviously there's re-entries along the way that is very easy but this is one mistake that a lot of people would want to implement on next 100 um it's always best to trade a bigger account it's always best to trade an account there is a lot of weight in the market it's always best to trade an account that you cannot blow easily but obviously on the initial funding of nest 100 you don't want to find an account that you are willing to lose because next they can blow you right now more especially with the type of trading that we do in south africa we compound entries, we compound positions. We have like 10 0.01s on like a 5,000 rand account, 7,000 rand account, whatever the case. But the most important thing is finding the entry. You see, if you have the entry on NES 100, you can kill anything. You can kill anything. You can take it to endless possibilities. You see, today, guys, I don't wanna lie to you, money was made. Money was made today. I don't want to lie to you. And I'm happy to each and every one of you that listened to us, each and every one of you that took the signals, each and every one um, that joined the the, 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 the wave of NAS 100. I see um, Ed Langer says correlation with GBPUSD. I'm not really sure about the correlation between NAS 100 and GBPUSD. I'm going to try and look into that because the only thing that I do when I trade NAS 100, I look at bigger time frames. I look at higher time frames. I look at um, your H1, your H4, your daily, and obviously the weekly to see how the market is really behaving on higher time frames. And bearing in mind that NAS 100 is a buying market. So whenever a buying signal comes out on NASDAQ, you have to make sure that you buy more than you are selling because this is an uptrending market and obviously the trend is your friend the trend is your friend you don't want to be trading against the trend you don't want to be selling when nestec is buying nestec is always a buying market i don't want to lie to you i see manando the coach is in the house bk is in the house dr martin is in the house i'm going to take him on now so that he actually explains first entry is key that is 100 percent true but this is another thing um, on NES 100, if 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 you find one entry wrong, if you find one entry wrong and it pulls back and it just kicks you out and it even takes your initial entries out, then you are you are blown. So this is what you have to do. You need to be spot on with your entries. You need to be spot on with your zones. You need to be spot on with the structure of the market. Obviously, you don't wanna be finding. Uh, psychological levels on NAS and trading psychological levels. So you always want to find major key levels on NAS 100, where the market actually turns when it gets to that point. I see someone is saying, um, any special on the NAS 100 signals? Well, for now, I don't really have a special on the NAS 100 um, group. Obviously, that's because, um, yeah, the, the month, the, the, what date is it today? Is it uh, 15th, 16th? I don't know what date is it, but yeah, I don't have a special running, but um, I don't know. I'm just tempted to take a couple of people, just like I did the other time um, for specials, but 
that's not a topic for today it's a topic for another day but yeah no specials for signals right now but my point is guys with next one Andre, you don't want to be trading psychological levels you want to be trading major key levels where you know that the market always goes there so i've in the years that i've been trading nasdaq and in the months whatever the case because i've been trading nasdaq for over a year and six months i've been looking at nasdaq specifically the nest 100 chart and i've been learning to master the thing i've been trying to master how it moves i've been trying to master how 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 it behaves i've been trying to master how that thing actually reacts to certain zones i've been trying to master the skill of trading nest 100 and i've been a trader that traded one minute time frames five minute time frames 15 minute track time frames there's a lot of strategies that i tried out on nest and until now it is only until now that I uh, thank you so much, BJ Masego. He says, Salute, my brother. This is the guy I went to yesterday in Pumalanga to give a one on one session to for 5,000 rands. I went there to that guy. Boy, he's killing the charts. I don't want to lie to you. That guy is a beast right now. Watch out for that guy, guys. He's coming. He makes a lot of money daily. I see today he secured over $800 just trading on his own because I, I didn't give out a lot of signals today i gave out the gold buy and i gave out the us teaser sell and i gave out the nest 100 buy and obviously all these trades were positive trades we secured a lot of a lot of pips and obviously some of them got stops here at break even but i always advise do not trade in accounts that you are willing to lose on nest 100 simply because um that thing can just spike your entry and go up just like today nasdaq rose uh to 11,340 and 11,360 uh, and then at half past three it came back to spike at entry and then it went up just like i explained on the other day they rejected at that neckline and they started dropping to the initial entry and then when they got to entry they kicked out everyone that thought was on the wave of the buyers and they started pushing up and never came back again and they trapped the sellers into thinking that nasdaq is continuing to the downside but obviously with trading structure and price action we know that nasdaq is a buying market and we had expected that uh touch on that on that support you know so once it got to that zone 11,250 that's where we're preparing our guns we went in all guns blazing all guns blazing unfortunately i went out on nas just before 1530 because i don't really like trading 1530 as you guys know so i went out as soon as um the market could reach the 1530 hour which is 1530 to 16 uh, 30 so i was out by the time unfortunately i couldn't ride it again because i'm more interested in trading zones that are my uh, zones of interest and that are my the zones of confluence so i couldn't really write the nasdaq wave all all the way up right now i have something cooking on nest 100 i can't really see it on the live you guys are gonna see it happening and the people that are on my signals group they're gonna be part of that next wave that is coming see that going up or down but trust you me believe you me we are gonna be part of that wave we are gonna be within pagati inside we are going there let me take on dr martin on the live and i see people um are, are giving shout outs people are giving out all the love uh yeah, yeah, yeah. trading robot no 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 trading robots i don't wanna lie to you and knowledge is power you know my nando de nando's nando's de panado you know my brother i just want dr martin how do you get in your signals group my signals group is 1500 trends a month the, those are my signals a uh, a thousand five a month in rents if you are from the states it's a hundred dollars a month no compromise if you are outside of south africa my signals are a hundred dollars a month no compromise this is why i'm doing this because with the dollar and the rent there's in fluctuation you know the dollar and the rent they always go up go down but safe to stay and stick to um hundred dollars a month so in my signals group 
I only take out four things that I trade. I take out USDZ, I take out gold, I take out GBP, JPY, and I take out um, NES 100. Obviously, right now, we have come together with Dr. Martin and are handling one signals group together. So Dr. Martin is the one that takes care of currencies. But personally, from your boy stylish keys, I take out USDZ, gold, GBP, JPY, and NES. Obviously, Dr. Martin is more fast on currencies. He's the one that takes out currency uh, signals. So, yeah... There's people that I gave specials to the other day on the live. I, I, I just gave five people a grace period to come into my signals group for a thousand rand. And if they are not happy, um, they would obviously freely leave the group or whatever the case. But guys, believe it or not, losses are inevitable. Yesterday was not a good day for our signal subscribers and myself included, obviously with Dr. Martin included. I'm a, I'm a real trader, guys. I'm one realistic trader. Yesterday was not a good day. It was a signal, profit, break even, stop loss. That was what happened on our signals group yesterday. And a lot of people felt like probably we were not working enough or we were amateurs in the game. But this is what I know about Forex. Losses are inevitable, but believe you me, we win more than we lose. I don't want to lie to you. We win more than we lose. Yes, we do lose. There's no trader that doesn't lose, but we have to win more than we lose. Obviously, yesterday was not a good day. And remember, a good day does not mean a good week, and a good week does not mean a good month. And a good uh, uh, sorry, a bad day doesn't mean a, doesn't mean a bad week. A bad week doesn't mean a bad month. A bad month doesn't mean a bad trading career. But obviously, you have to keep on empowering yourself. You, you have to keep on motivating yourself from within. So if you are having a bad day, if you had a bad day today, um, that doesn't mean you have a bad week. Tomorrow is Friday. Today is Friday. The week can end with a blast and your life is changed for, for the next 10 months, you know. And if you've had a bad trading month this, this month, it doesn't mean... Um, or if you've had a bad trading week, it doesn't mean that you are having a bad trading month. It's just a bad trading week. And if you've been having a bad trading month, it doesn't mean you're a bad trader. So losses are inevitable, guys. You need to pull yourself out of the pit on Nasdaq. You need to pull yourself out of the pit when it comes to Forex. You always, 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 always have to motivate yourself. You have to tell yourself from within that, guys, I am pushing. I'm going to make it. Without that inner, 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 inner convict, you can never, you can never make it on on on, on this on, on this world. You can never make it in this world. You can never make it in forex unless you motivate yourself from within. So, guys, yeah, I think I'm gonna take another five. Um, I'm gonna say this once. I'm gonna take five people um, to the signals group for a thousand rand. Just hit my DMs, and if it missed you, it missed you. It's fine. But again, back to that thing. If you are having a bad month, it doesn't mean you are having a bad year. If you are having a bad year, it doesn't mean you are not a good trader. You just have to keep on pushing, 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 guys. I don't want to lie to you. One day you will make it. One day you will make it. Remember, it's not a risk and a how badile utlatoma type of a situation, but it's a work ethic type of a situation. We are not traders that trade with hope. We are not traders that trade by luck. We are not traders that trade um, with with hopes that the market goes there and we are not traders that anticipate false things. We are traders that trade with skill. We are traders that are skillful. Skill over everything. Skill over everything, guys. I don't want to lie to you. It's the skill over everything. Skill over everything. It's the skill or nothing. If you don't have the skill, you will not make it. So that's why it's very much important that you always, always, always sharpen your skill. Sharpen your skill. Sharpen your skill. Make sure you are at the top of your game. Make sure that you are on the A game when it comes to your confidence, when it comes to your psychology, and when it comes to your skill. So this is not a type of a game that you come into and hope that you are going to make it. This is a game that you work your way to the top. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. This is not a pyramid scheme. This is not something that you bring in someone and automatically you are you're at the top. This is a game where you literally climb the ladder to the top. I mean, a lot of people are taught and 
they don't really work on their side i posted something today that losses are temporary but the skill is forever you cannot take away the skill from me you cannot take away the skill from me even if i were to lose two million rents today the same way that i made that two million rents i will still make it again remember if forex got you to the top it can still take you even higher if forex bought you a, a playstation forex can get you anything that you want if forex bought you food today then it can definitely take you to endless possibilities so it's just a matter of sharpening the skill and always being there for yourself you need yourself more than anyone else does you need yourself more than you need anyone else you might come to my life for inspiration but the person that you need the most is yourself in this game you need to be on your a game the whole time the whole time the whole time let me take my ceo guys let me not talk too much let me take my ceo let me take my ceo i see my boys i see my boys are on the live i see major uh, major my RSA is not here i see john sales is on the live my brother from another mother and i see also marcelino valley who is in the house i see a lot of people are in the house guys i'm so humbled i'm overwhelmed by the love that you guys are giving out and i don't want to lie to you guys you guys are such a blessing forex brought us food yesterday bk you know forex brought us food we ate inyama and togo we ate chicken we ate we ate um a pork scop day hey, it was nice we ate a hey, we ate nice stuff day hey, 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 i ate some things that i never thought i'd eat in life but hey that thing was too much the thing was too nice. the thing was too nice i guess i'll pay online class for lucky member person on this live um yeah so wait 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 dog wait ne? so yeah, manando manando is saying manando is saying i guess i'll pay an, an, an online class for a lucky member person on this live i see many hard workers so manando is willing to pay an online session for just one lucky member on this live so if you are lucky manando will obviously select you on the live and the, uh, he'll just point you up point you out and comment with your name and then we'll pin your name and manando um will just uh pay for your online course and then we will sanitize your trading career we will make sure that you you trade and find the cleanest entries ever uh piche masego is 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 is, is, is a living testimony guys of our services yesterday we went there to him the chances invaded in bumalanga it was too nice i see this other guy says i blew 9k I'm stressed. I can't even sleep. My brother, a, pre, a bad trading day doesn't mean a bad trading week. Try again, bro. But this one thing that I love, you blew 9K trying to make money. You didn't blow 9K sitting at home. You know, at least you were trying. So it's, it's better to try than not to try. It's better losing than not try. That's, that's always my, my, my inspiration. Better lose than not try at all. So I'm very proud of you, bro, that you tried and you actually uh blue and you left me ah uh, pk boy hardy blessed trader in the building you know manando help people are calling out for manando's help and manando will just select anyone that he wants to select and he will just sanitize their trading career um a lot of dark skins ish kps <laughs> panado manando manando i'm lucky manando manando people are shouting manando please select me please 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 here manando yeah, please help mr manando um, a lot of people are just calling out for manando's help but manando will obviously um type his name uh, at his own given time and will just sanitize their trading career um yeah so dr martin welcome to the lab what's happening my brother how, how, how are you my bro 100 percent. are you well bro 100 percent, my guy yeah man um I I came in late on on the live. I actually didn't come in late. I've been playing FIFA on the side and so um I was listening to what you were saying and I think I like um the approach that you're coming with tonight. Um with not just inspiring people to to grow accounts only but to also show them how to actually get to a specific level on NAS 100, right? Because in most cases yeah. you find People, people do have the necessary skill, but they don't actually know how to get to a specific level. So I love, I love how you, how you basically brought up that um, that perspective. And I see that um, you are coming and you are choosing uh, five lucky people to 
joined the Signal Group for a thousand, and that is about looking at the fact that uh, we put in the work. The work ethic is a lot. Yeah, it doesn't come easy, man. Yeah, the work ethic is a lot. All I'm doing. Love you, boy. Love you, boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. Sure. Yeah. But I think that's that's beautiful. And Manando is gonna choose one person for the la, uh, for the online session. And I think that's that's really beautiful, man. Uh, but you know, there's a lot of people who what can I say, who want free passes when they actually won't even put in the work, you know? So I think yeah. Manando must, must choose wisely to say that he's gonna choose someone that's actually got the, the work ethic because how our course is structured, um, so this is this is what I need to explain to the audience and basically to get them to understand how the online course is structured. So there's two types of course. There's the one-on-one -on -one course, there's, this, um, there's the online course, right? So the one-on-one -on -one is obviously we having the in-person experience um, with either myself or stylish kids, but, um, the online course is actually a pre-recorded course uh, videos that are compiled uh, over a period of time. So these are videos that I've been doing and I recorded. So the videos give you the strategy and the videos show you what we do and how to actually trade. So if you are not a person who's used to putting in work, the videos will not work for you. And this is what this is what we we basically um, have been trying to put out there that people must understand that forex is not a passive career. Forex is not a career that you can just grow from passively. But this is a career that that needs your time. This is a career that needs your effort. This is a career that needs you to put in the work. And that's what we always um, emphasize. Maybe I need to talk about something as I'm talking about this, right? So I had a conversation with um, this other guy in the afternoon. And we were talking about um, different careers that are there in the world. So I had a one-on-one -on -one session today, and I was I was explaining to him that um, forex is not one of those careers where you grow passively. So you know, you, you, there's there's a lot of things that grow passively. You can go plant spinach there, and then water it once, and you it, it's bound to grow. You can, uh, you know, you can give birth to a baby and the baby is going to grow. Whether you take care of the baby or not, the baby is going to grow. That means the baby grows passively. There's careers that you can actually get into and those careers actually push and they grow passively. Like you go to school, you study to become an architect, you work as an architect, you're guaranteed that three years from that, um, from the time you're an architect, you're going to be at a different level and different space. But in Forex, this is a different case. You're going to come in onto the markets. And when you come onto the markets, you have to put in the work to ensure that you are going to that specific level. And the reason why I'm saying this is because me and my brother, uh, well, us as Regenesis, we are trying to build a different breed of individuals, uh, individuals that won't fade away after three years in the game, that won't fade away after five years. And the only way that you can basically accumulate and achieve that is by putting in the work. And that's what we always preach, that Q Banks is Q Banks because of the amount of work that he put in. Sean Lee is Sean Lee because of the amount of work he put in. There's a, there's a quote that I read a couple of days that said, um, you know, even the most advanced trader was once a beginner. Even the most, uh, you know, even the most hardworking trader, the most successful trader was once a beginner at some point, was once an amateur, meaning that they took a decision in their minds that they're going to put in the work. In, at Genesis, bro, if you don't put in the work, you will not grow. It's not one of those things where you come in and you expect that you're going to grow naturally. You only put in the work and that's what we basically preach that people must put in the work and they will see their lives changing i mean um you know even an example with how our our careers are actually uh swerving and shifting onto a different direction and level this is only happening because of hard work you see us uh going live at night we are building you see us uh, trading nonstop. We are building because we are putting in the work to basically ensure that our lives get to a specific area. So this is what I'm saying, that if Manando is going to choose someone, the person who will be chosen must know that these are videos that require for you to put in a whole lot of work. You will not grow, especially with my trading method. 
you will not grow if you don't put in the work. That's that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Work, 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 work. Yeah, so basically, um, what Dr. Martin is saying for someone that just joined the live um, is that the type of trading that we do, we have um, is the Genesis Wealth Club is not that... Um, let me put it in this way. It's not that McDonald's type of trading. By McDonald's, yeah. I don't necessarily mean that you learned it at McDonald's. But what I necessarily mean is that it's not a passive thing. It's something that you come, you grasp, you put in the work in practicing it, uh, desiring to know it. Once you know it and get it right, guys, believe you me, your life will change for the better. I don't want to lie to you. Just, just, just beginning of last month, I wasn't as known as I am right now. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know about me. I was putting in the work. I don't want to lie to you, but as soon as I shifted my mind and put it in a different level, a, a place where um, I wanted to learn, a place where I wanted to be at this point where I am right now. I had to put in the work, sleepless nights, tireless working, guys, sleepless nights, early mornings, putting in the chart work. You guys can see this is not how my eyes are naturally, Dr. Martin knows. But because of the sleepless nights, the early mornings, I am where I am today. I'm, I can trade next 100, guys. I don't want to lie to you. You see, I don't believe in something that says... Um, you cannot perfect Ness 100. I don't believe in that. Remember, they say practice makes perfect. That statement comes from something. And the statement yeah. comes from someone that has actually experienced that practice makes perfect. So obviously, um, <laughs> with trading, there's going to be mistakes. Just like every, every perfect driver that we have out there gets into car accidents. It's very much possible to trade and not blow an account. 100% possible. I've, you see, um, Dr. Martin hasn't blown an account. I don't know in how long. It's very possible that you find $100 and that's the hundred, last $100 you are funding. Obviously, with the proper risk management. So Dr. Martin and I obviously have two different types of trading. He's yeah. a safe trader and I've, uh, I'm an impulsive trader. You know, So me, I go all in. If I blow, I blow. If I make money, I make money. And out of 10 trades that I trade, I only lose one trade. My Signal subscribers know that I hardly blow an account. I hardly blow an account. So if I go in, I find an entry and I go with that entry. The people think we post uh, profits because um, probably with demo traders or prob probably we're hiding our, 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 what's this? Probably we're hiding our, our losses or something. It's that we don't have much losses simply because we practice a lot. Practice makes perfect, guys. I don't want to lie to you. Practice makes perfect. If you practice trading nested, you will perfect trading nested. I'm at a point where I can say, I can gather with any trader that you know and talk about nested. Believe you me, I will not get beaten by nested. Yesterday, I didn't blow on nested. By the way, I blew on gold. Yesterday, yeah. I didn't blow I mean, on nested because I don't, I don't really put in that uh, the same amount of chart work on gold as I put it on 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 Nasdaq. I don't know when was the last time I missed direction on Nas. You know, I never missed Nas Nas one hundred directions. That I don't wanna lie to you. Simply because I put in the chart work, I put in the dedication, I put in my all, I put in all of my efforts on that thing. So it's very much possible for you to make it in this game and never blow an account again. Cause you yeah. see people. People, people think blowing an account is easy on Nasdaq. I'm at a point where I hardly blow. So when I blow, I get shocked. You know, a lot of people get shocked when they make profit because they've been blowing so much. Because the, and again, guys, this this thing is 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 more of an emotional thing. It's more of a psychological thing. The minute you enter a trade thinking that uh, I'm going to blow on this trade, believe it or not, you are going to blow that account because emotionally, you are not stable. Psychologically, you're not stable. You need to get to a point where you enter a trade with confidence. You see how confident I am right now. You see my energy right now. You need to enter trades with the same kind of energy, with the same kind of confidence. In that case, blowing is not as easy. Believe you me, I know, of a, I know of a lot of great traders on Instagram that trade Ness 100. They hardly blow accounts, believe it or not. They always post profits. They're always... Uh, so, um, 
Mr. Sniper says I can I can testify to that. He knows I hardly blow an account unless one hundred. Not that yeah. when when yeah. when 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 I don't drive yeah. luxurious cars, when I own when I own um, spend the way that people like, expect me to spend, I don't make money. Believe it or not, guys, I'm financially stable. I'm so, financially comfortable. It's because our 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 our, our values are not the same. Yeah. And we don't. We, our priorities are not the same, also. But that's yeah. what I'm saying, guys. It's very possible for you to stop blowing accounts because if you put in the work, if you tell yourself. So it all starts here. Remember, God created you, and He gave you one powerful tool, which was your mind. So when He gave you your mind, this thing, whoever that is driving the market behind the screen, is also using their mind. So if you are trading this side, you have to challenge them. Mentally speaking, you can analyze, you can do everything, but if your if your psychology is not in the right place, you can still blow, and the market just moves with your arrow, and there's no interest in the market because your psychology is not in the right place. So you need to fix your psychology, and yeah. when you get to that let point, me, you are let gone. Me, let me let me maybe come back a little bit to how we got introduced to the game, right? So when 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 i started trading in 2017 before um i introduced my brothers uh so this was keys and our cousin uh to forex right um i remember this was back in 2017 when forex wasn't so wasn't so popular a lot of people didn't know about um forex and you know forex was just too much in the states than it is in SA. So in South Africa, the only traders that were there were Ashley Hasty Bear, you know, and a couple of other traders that we knew. And I, and I always talk about this. And at the time, back then when I started trading, the only thing that motivated me was the work that the dude was putting in. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I basically got into the charts. That's how I got into trading. When I saw um, how hard work had actually pushed him to be... Bali Mox, shout out to being in Bali Marks away to being where he is and I basically aspired to be at that level based on the work that he was putting in. So I'm trying to show you something here and you're gonna get my point. You're gonna understand where I'm going with this. So back back then when you got into trading, you got into trading inspired by the work and the chart ethic that they actually put in and which actually made me to go into my charts and spend countless hours on the charts and trying to understand this thing. And that's how my brothers got into the game when they saw profits coming in, right? But what I'm trying to say is back in the day, the, 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 whole, the whole gist was different. Like the whole atmosphere of trading was different. People would be inspired by hard work and not lifestyle. Lifestyle was the result of hard work, but today it's yeah. just a different thing that people want to see lifestyle for them to actually scale you and weigh how much you make from the charts based on what you have. Um, it is not what you have that makes you a great trader, but it is how you trade that gives you what you have. You know what I'm saying? Like if you need a car, we shouldn't see the car you're driving and believe that you're a great trader, but we must see your charts and know that you can basically get any car you want, which is what we yeah. basically are trying to put out to the to the to the community to say let's reverse a little bit and let's get inspired by the work instead of being inspired by the lifestyle because people fund lifestyles with different things omunyo munt is coming from a good family you know what i'm saying like their mom is a politician their uncle is a whatnot and they come and they drive those beautiful cars and when they drive those beautiful cars you want to get to their level when they are actually not even doing anything there's a lot of false motivation there's a lot of vague motivations on instagram where people come onto the onto the media and they and they project what they have but when you actually zoom into their work you find that they can't even trade for anything and the problem with that is they only have what they have in their hands but in their heads they are empty meaning if their hands were to be cut they wouldn't even regain what they have in their ha in their hands so the most important thing is that you get to a point where you understand chart work clean you understand pure chart work you understand how the market moves understand uh, market psychology understand market structure understand what it takes to be in a trade understand what it takes to be a trader mm -hmm. 
is disciplined understand how it's You're speaking feels, volumes you know hey. understand how it feels to hit stop losses how it feels to hit take profits and still even move forward as you are trading understand all of those things because once you get to understand and master the skill of trading there is nothing that can stand before you there's nothing that can take away money from you your pockets my friend will be too heavy even for you to even manage once you understand the skill of trading and that is what the genesis is bringing to the community to say that we are here to bring in a different element a different vibe and a different feel of the markets that you don't have to be a successful trader because you have got an expensive car you can go to, to a, you can go to any dealership get a plug someone looks at your bank statements look at how much you're making per month gives you that car and still struggle paying that money per month because you can't trade for jack you can go host classes for as much as you want get a lot of people signing under your mentorship and make that money to buy that car think about it if you get five if you get a hundred people or a thousand people paying five thousand a month, that's five hundred thousand. You can drive an M4 with just five thousand people subscribing with five thousand to your to your to your services. It's very easy. It's very easy, especially with the following up. We've got like following and it's very easy to build the numbers. But if you don't have the skill, you will get to that level where you drive those cars but not be able to maintain them which is what we are saying like that what we are basically saying today is that we need to get to that point where we trade the markets solely purely and technically and understand the skill of trading there is nothing that is better than you understanding the skill of trading trust me we have seen guys who have come into the game who have basically claimed a lot about them accumulating specific things and certain things from the charts to only find out that the people actually never even accumulated none of those things from the charts but also we have seen people who have actually accumulated their things with the markets and that is the people we want to follow these are the people we want to look up to and that's what we're doing we're not even pressured to post results i mean if you look at my profile right now i don't even post results anymore but if you look at my work you are able to see that this guy is making money based on how he understands the charts i'm not even pressured to to even post my results because it's none of anyone's business my my thing is to bring in the knowledge to the community and once the knowledge is there people can start growing from that knowledge which is what then my brother is saying now that people look at how much you're making and they look at how your life is and then they start thinking to yourself that um this guy's trading demo this guy's trading life why do you care if he's trading demo like you know what i'm saying even if he trades live it's none of your business what you need to look for into that person is to look for the skill on how he's actually making those figures and that's what can actually help push you to a specific level and that's what we're saying work is it is, is 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 everything you need to know that's all you need to know we've been in the game for long enough to know the tricks that happen in the game but also what we are saying to you tonight is that put in the work and see your life changing that's all i'm saying bro hey bro you just said a mouthful I'm blessed on my own, dog. Uh, you you couldn't have said it any better, dog. Yeah. You see, um, I'm just really touched by the way um, you tackled this whole thing. So this, this is what happens, guys. And these are the mistakes that people um, do in the Forex industry um, because they want to impress the Instagram community. So there's one thing that um, I've actually realized is that people trade for their gram more than they trade for their pockets you know? and as soon as you get to a point where you trade for posting results then now it becomes pressure because um sometimes you hold trades let's say for instance you find a thousand rand and you are holding four thousand rand you feel like that is not enough because stylish kids just posted um himself holding ten thousand from a thousand rand and believe it or not um, you end up blowing that account because you are pressured to post something that is similar to what Stylish Kids posted. And at the end of the day, um, you end up not making money for the day. I know 4,000 doesn't look as much on the MT4, but as soon as it hits your bank account, it's, it makes a change. 1,000 rent doesn't look as much on the MT4, but as soon as it gets to your bank account, as soon as that notification comes in, then it will make a change. I don't want to lie to you guys. As yeah. soon as you start trading 
for impressing other people, then you know you are on the wrong journey. You are at the wrong journey. You can't be trading to impress me. You can't be trading to impress the other person. The most important person in your trading career is yourself and whoever that you are planning to take care of with the money that you are making from these charts. So the most important thing, guys, is for you to master your craft, for you to stick to your own lane, for you to stick to your own pace. Guys, listen, listen to this thing. Social media lies a lot. How much more would it lie on, on, on Forex if it can lie with relationships? You know, you see people that are Instagram happy, but if you dig down to, to their, their actual life, you, you can see that these people aren't really as happy at, as they are portraying themselves on, 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 the, on the social media platforms. But in the Forex industry, guys, you find guys that are so moneyed in Instagram. And if you meet them in person, then you, you would obviously see that, no, this guy doesn't have as much. You know, I know of guys that drive serious cars but can't even afford to pour petrol on their cars. You know, I've been, I've been out with this other guy. He's not a trader. So we went out on that day. So we we're supposed to come back home. And this guy's like, no, yo, guys, hey, my Golf 7 doesn't have petrol. And my Golf 7 doesn't have gas. And I'm like, how is it possible that you are driving a Golf 7 and it doesn't have gas? I mean, I'm driving a very affordable car right now. And I have petrol to take me to anywhere that I want to go to. Simply because I'm 100% comfortable to where I am right now. I'm 100% comfortable with the person that I am, with the clothes that I wear, with the car that I drive. It's not for impressing anyone. When I look at the mirror, right after I take a bath and dress up, I feel proud within myself for the fact that I'm able to afford whatever that I'm buying right now. For the fact that I'm able to make myself happy, that means I'm, su I'm successful as a trader. You get what I'm saying? So what Dr. Martin just said right now is that you need... Basically, what he's saying is you need to get the inspiration um, with regards to why did we take the trade and how are we taking the trade and why, you know, the rest is history. You shouldn't really follow up on someone else's lifestyle. Guys, lifestyle doesn't sell anymore. If you're still um, taken, taken by a lifestyle, I don't know where you are right now you know because me, i mean lifestyle shouldn't sell anymore right now let me tell you something and this is what people are missing right on the on on, on, on the gram um there's two types of traders there's two types of traders there's a real trader there's a fake trader you must know that you know what i'm saying and if you're a real trader you, you you've got realistic targets according to your own life and you cannot try and live above your means and if you're a fake trader then you're going to be posting demo results, um, living a fake lifestyle, wanting people to follow you because of the fake things that you post. That is why then you find that people are then forced to post things they don't have and claim that they have them because they are trying to keep up with the standard of actually being gurus, if I may put it that way. But if you're a realistic trader and you're, you, you, you're being realistic with yourself, you understand that before Forex, you've got a life. And your life needs to be sorted out even before you become that guru that you claim to be on Instagram. Um, some of us come from unprivileged families. Um, you know, we come from families that don't have money and families that are looking up to us and are dependent on us to basically uh, cater for them because obviously they've worked for all their lives, making sure that we become something in life and we then give back to them. Now, this happens mostly that people then come to Instagram and then they forget about um, their families. And you find that what you were supposed to be doing on your come up and what you were supposed to be doing uh, as you are growing for your family is now then devoured and being enjoyed by Instagram uh, followers. You know what I'm saying? That is when you are now forced to impress the streets and you forget about home. Before you, before you become anything, guys, everything starts at home. If you if you can afford one thousand rands, if you can afford one thousand rands, if you can afford to 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 fund a thousand rands, that means your your life is ranging around one thousand to five to five thousand rands per month. That is how much you need to basically get through the month. Now, how can you fund a thousand and expect to make fifty thousand when your life only needs? 5,000 to survive for the month. That is where the problem starts. People are not yeah. being realistic with themselves. You, will, you, you only need 5,000 to get through the month. 
but you want to make 500,000. Why do you want to make the 500,000? Like, why are you so, why are you so, like, why are you in such in a hurry? To make, why are you in such a hurry to make 5,000 when you don't need that 5,000? And you find that even that 5,000 doesn't. We have one minute good. remaining. So let's end this one and start another one. And please, to everyone that's on the live, please rejoin. If you don't follow me, my handle is at stylishkeys underscore. Just come and follow the boy and just join the live. And then we're going to be talking more um, about inspiring a black child, grooming a black trader, grooming a young guy that's out there that thinks Forex is not for them. Let them know and let them be taught that you can be anything and you can become anything that you think and that you imagine. If you think it, you can achieve it. You know, if you can conceive it, you can achieve it. So we're going to be going live once again. Tepiso underscore. Hey, Shout amazing. out, boy. Shout yeah. out, my bro. So That's I'm going to end this live and start another one. I'm saving this one. And the other one, please, everyone, just join. And let's come have a nice, and, and nice time together. Um, teaching each other about the charts and make sure that we are the greatest traders of all times that are coming. Yeah. So let's do rejoin on the other one. You're not